Hey there, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort. And today I'm going to show you how to fix the thrust bearing on your bandsaw. So every bandsaw comes with two guide assemblies for the blade. One is below the deck here, and the other one is here at the top of the throat. So if we remove the assembly, the guide assembly is made of three components. Two guide bearings on either side that prevent the blade from wandering laterally, left or right, and then a thrust bearing here that prevents the blade from moving too far backward as you're applying forward pressure while cutting material. So it's this thrust bearing that I'm going to show you how to replace today as I have completely and utterly destroyed the one that's on this machine. So let's get started. Removing the guide assembly is a very simple process. And you'll see that there's a set screw right here that can be removed with an Allen key that comes with your bandsaw. So you simply want to move this counterclockwise. The guide assembly will set, uh, slide forward and then just drop down. The next thing you'll want to do is actually remove the thrust bearing. And that's done by just unscrewing this adjustment knob. And then you slide the bearing out from behind. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> this is in terrible shape. Um, so I'll show you how to remove this from the assembly. I'm gonna put the bearing in my bench vise so that I can get the little retention clip, which you probably can't see. It's really, really small. And uh, we're just gonna lift that off so that we can slide the bearing off. This retention ring is impossibly small and hopefully your eyes are a little bit better than mine because it took me a while to get that off. So we'll now take this out of the vise and punch the bearing out because it's on there pretty tight. I brought the thrust bearing over to a 15 30 second socket head. And the socket head is just large enough to fit over the sleeve and then back up against the end of the thrust bearing, which will allow me to tap it out. And then I'll just use a quarter inch socket drive to tap it the rest of the way down. And there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is simply work backwards, slide the bearing over the assembly, and I am gonna put the retaining ring over like this, and we'll go ahead and put that back onto the guide assembly. Again, working in reverse, you'll see that this has a slotted appearance. We're gonna slide this through the slot as you can see here, and then use the adjustment knob to screw the thrust bearing back into place. Okay, we're not gonna tighten all the way because we're gonna need to do some adjustment once we get this onto the machine. And moving in reverse, we're gonna slide the assembly up and into the opening here. Before we tighten the guide assembly, we want to make sure that the guide bearings are sitting just behind the gullets, which are these openings behind the blade. This will ensure that material has the opportunity to um, eject and not get clogged between the bearings. We also want to make sure that as we're putting this back in place, that the blade is sitting squarely between the guide bearings such that when the blade moves, it's not touching either one of these bearings. And the final step is to adjust the thrust bearing that we just reinstalled. So what I'm going to do is use a piece of 3000 grit sandpaper. You can use a dollar bill, a $5 bill, etc. And what I'm gonna do is just bring it up the blade until it's in line with the thrust bearing. I'm then gonna move the thrust bearing forward and tighten. And similarly, the thrust bearing should not actually be touching the blade. It should be about a half millimeter behind the blade based on the manufacturer's specifications. So as I turn the blade, yep, it's moving a little bit. So I'm gonna go back and readjust. There we go. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.